What is up? So how do you use G-Snap in Cakewalk? And if you're playing Dreams and you clicked on this, G-Snap is auto-tune. It's a sort of auto-tune that you can use. Um, it's a free version. Make sure if you get it, you get it from a credible website. This is not how to install the plugin into Cakewalk, but it is how to, you know, just use it. So just look up something on YouTube on how to install it and check out my other Cakewalk tutorials. And Dreams PS4 is this thing that allows you to create games animations, music, beats, and then upload it to a SoundCloud-like server, and I'll have more about that at the end of this video. So if you're interested in that, just another reason to subscribe. Uh, I know a lot about these programs, so let's jump right into it. First of all, another pitch uh, program that can make your voice deeper and uh, more high-pitched, get one of those. Get one of those. I have Pitch Proof. Uh, I got it from a credible website. Make sure if you get it, you get it from a credible website. This actually can help out your auto-tune. And what you want to do is uh, mess around with it. I guess I have the dry all the way down right here. And then I have this right here. And then typically, um, the lower this is on this side, that's your actual voice. But this right here will make it deeper if you have it in the negatives like I do. And as long as this is on dry, if you have it um, in the middle right here, it would be like a chorus effect of two different voices mixed together. One deep and one your original voice. So that's how Pitch Proof is working. But it can change your voice and also can change your key which can help your auto-tune effect. Now let's just go ahead and jump right into auto-tune. Um, I'm also gonna show what this sounds like so you guys know what I'm talking about. This is me rapping. So right here I have these dials pressed right here. So what you can do, let me just go ahead and play it. They can take my spot, but my spot remains. So I did it and I never played. What's love? But that ain't love. But that ain't love. So as you can see, it sounds pretty authentic. And I have a couple out of tune songs. I have another one that's really good also. And it sounds really, really good when the beat's playing. I just can't play the beat because as you can see right here, it's not for profit. But uh, you can, I'll have a link to it once I actually upload the song. It's going to be a part of my album. Then you, you, you'll be blown away. Um, so how do you use AutoTune? Let's go ahead and open up the G Snap effect so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so you see these red things? That's the parts that need to be corrected, but you don't want to correct all of it if you want the wobble effect, if that makes sense. So if you press X on those parts, then eventually what would happen? Let's just go ahead and... Uh... So as you can see, now everything's like the perfect pitch match together. So that's how that's working. Um, whenever you're actually pressing X on these things. In the settings, you'll want to have this at 1. And you want to have the release at one then you can turn this up to like 20 the speed um the amount you want this to be turned up a reasonable amount is because this right here will you know affect the sound you can also mess with the threshold pitch blend and um that's usually all i mess with whenever i'm doing this and then what i do is just use my ears and get things the right key i think you can use uh something like this if you're using cakewalk to see what key the beat is because really it's your, your voice is going off of what key the beat is so if you were to like go to your beat and then use some kind of thing that can say what kind of key something is and i think this right here is uh the thing that can determine the key maybe um i know i, I know there's one somewhere it's usually under guitar that can now tell the key close everything out it's probably loading okay so this right here is not what I want, but I'm pretty sure it can do what I want, but this is just too much stuff. So no, not this one. We're going to power that off. Usually it's something under guitar that can tell what kind of key something is.
But since, uh, you know, I can't seem to find that, and it's probably this for this, but that's just too much stuff, and I've never used that before. I'll just tell you my process of going about it and seeing how to put things on key. So now I have everything uh, exed off, so what I'm going to do is just reopen this real quick. And there we go, my original settings, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a cold. My original settings combined with the pitch proof settings, it's what's making this perfect. That's what's making this sound so good. So the G-Snap is actually working off of my new edited voices pitch, just so you guys know, because you could actually combine that with G-Snap, like I was saying in the beginning. Um, and then what uh, it's doing, what I usually do is I just press X around. You can also just select the scale and that can work sometimes and then you can mess with the major and stuff, but you really got to use your ears to do that. Usually you don't really have to turn, you don't have to press any X's in the beginning. So don't do that in the beginning. Just turn these two down and then listen to it because 50% of the time you don't even have to add that to it for it to give you the effect you're wanting. Um, the X's, you don't have to add that. It's only really... You need to do that whenever it doesn't sound right. So what you can do, where you see a few of the reds, just press um, X on those parts. Not all of it, but just a few of it. That's what you'll want to do. That's usually what I do. And uh, you want to make sure, um, you know, it's good keys that you're pressing. Again, there's something that you can use that can, like, see the key of the beat and uh, uh, trying to see if there's something in Cakewalk and uh, I, I honestly think I'd have to download a plugin so just do that and that'll give you the wobble effect uh, wherever you see red lines press X on a few of those places and you might have to mess with it until it sounds right but that's pretty much it in a nutshell that's pretty much it. So don't forget to subscribe, check out my Cakewalk playlist, and check out my Drains PS4 video that's coming up next. And let me know if this helps you. Uh, this right here is probably um, a better explanation of this than you're used to getting. What you need to know is if you use an equalizer, it can actually take away from your voice if you use it, which is a good thing. Uh, it takes away the parts that you don't want in your voice. So this is how equalizer works. Um, if your voice is tinny, you want to lower this part right here, the highs. And if your voice sounds muddy, you want to lower this right here. But if you want to add bass in your voice, you want to uh, increase this. Usually if you have more bass in your voice, it's easier for auto-tune to catch it. So, um, just so you guys know that. Um, but really, if you were to decrease this all the way, it would like turn down all the volume for that part of your voice. And that's pretty much what an equalizer is. So even equalizers can help out with your auto-tune. Then delays and reverb can also help. You really want to get your compressor right, but compressor's pretty easy. Just, you know, have it around here or higher, depending on how, you know, loud everything is. Then you can mess with the mixer thing over here. So here goes um, Dreams PS4. Subscribe if you're interested in that also. And thank you guys so much for watching. What is up? Dreams PS4 is this game that allows you to create games, music, um, animations like for your music videos, and a whole lot more artwork. Any, almost anything you can think of. It's, uh, yes, you can learn how to make games, and I have tutorials for it in my channel playlist. This right here should be a cakewalk or some kind of audio tutorial, but for the most part, I'm just going to lay something down. This is how you would record your tracks within this. As you can see, there's wave links. And I'm just gonna lay that down, and then I'm gonna show you guys some of the effects you can use. Mainly the ones that I wanna show you is that there's a compressor, 
and of course in EQ, you turn it on like that, and then here's my recording, and then you pretty much, uh, it works, it's a digital audio workstation for your PS4, and again, some of the games that I created are, um, as follows right here, and then you can upload all your work to this thing that's, I guess, the SoundCloud of this game, Dream Surfing, right here. You can upload it all right here. You can upload your games up here if you want to, and, or music or whatever you create. So that's the SoundCloud YouTube slash upload server. And then you can grow your name right here, get followers, whatnot. And yes, this is for the PS4 created by Media Molecule Creators and Little Big Planet. Very, this is a good game, guys. Good game. Um, and as for the games that I, it comes with tutorials, I have tutorials in my channel playlist also. Um,. Oh, I gotta do is show you the game that I'm creating. Let me go ahead and show you. Um, that's a new character, actually. I'm gonna try to find the one where it's uh. There you go. Yeah, I created this. So, if you're interested in creating. Feel free to subscribe for this and more audio content. I either put this at the end of the video or at the beginning of the video, um, this video, so whatever I chose.